Hey guys! So, I just got done with my last ultrasound for this month, and it was an ultrasound to see if my follicles were the right size for him to trigger me for ovulation, and um, to see how thick my lining was for um, if he did trigger me, then I would have the correct lining in order to um, sustain a pregnancy. So I get in there and he starts the ultrasound and he or he the first thing he says was, "Oh, your lining looks good." And I was like, "Ooh, yay, my lining looks good." And he scans over to my left ovary. There's nothing in there. And there was a 16 millimeter follicle last time. So he was like, "You didn't ovulate on that side. It just is gone now." And I was like, "Okay." And then he goes over to the right ovary and there is a big um corpus luteum cyst in there, which is good. That's the or I think that's what it's called and it's like it means, that it means that I ovulated already from the Clomid on my own without a trigger shot. So I'm friggin' stoked because I am sorry, but 50 milligrams of Clomid, I didn't think it would work. And it worked awesome. So I ovulated on my own. There's a big ol', uh, you know, you got the follicle and then it bursts open. And then you've got that little shrivelly sack of hormones, the corpus luteum's. Thing or whatever and so happily my lining last time it was seven millimeters seven and a half or something like that and he wanted it at at least nine because he would feel more comfortable with that and today my lining is at 10.5 so he says my lining is awesome he like even got excited and I am so happy about that so he gave me a series of shots that I have to take I'll show you um, HCG shots um, to I asked him what they were for and he says basically um, I'm gonna give them like every three days for the continuation of my uh, of my for the duration of my cycle during my luteal phase of what would be a luteal phase sorry I'm scooting over so I'm not so shiny in the sun um, what would be my luteal phase and he wants me to take um, all these injections throughout the continuation of my cycle um, and what it'll do is because that the little sac in there is supposed to create the hormones it's creating progesterone but he's giving me HCG shots so that can so that it'll finish my cycle or do what it needs to do with my cycle so that my body won't prematurely shed my lining and shed the pregnancy with it. So he's giving me the HCG shot three times. Well, I have to give it to myself or Zach has to give it to me. <laughs> I'm not looking forward to that. But, um, and it will be able to hold a pregnancy if it happens a lot better than if, um, I weren't to take those shots because my body has the hormones, but it may not do the exact right thing. So, yeah, I have to give myself a shot in the butt like three times. There, it's right here. I'll show you. I got this little box of HCG, and I have to mix up these little suckers, these little bottles, and um, I. I have to mix that one with this powder and then I have to inject them into my butt. So <laughs> I'm not looking forward to that, but I will do whatever it takes for this. So I am just, I could not be happier. I thought my body was just going to, excuse my language, fuck me over this whole entire cycle. I thought that through this whole process, Clomid wasn't going to work and I'd have to go to Femera. And I mean, I'm not saying that that won't happen. Just because I've ovulated does not mean that I'm going to get pregnant. But I have a damn better chance than I had before. And I'm friggin' stoked. Because, I don't know, it's just, I'm so happy. I can't even tell you how happy I am. So, I've got these little shots that Zach has to give me in the butt but that's okay and so I ovulated and um, you know we had 
we've been making sure to have sex like often. So we've been covering our bases. I, got, I had my last ultrasound Thursday and he was like, well, just make sure you, you know, have intercourse on Saturday. So we did it on Thursday, didn't Friday, did on Saturday, did on Sunday, gonna today, gonna tomorrow. <laughs> so I know they say every other day, but I actually looked up a study online and they did a study um, of women who did it every day, did it every other day, and then only did it once during their cycle or during their uh, fertile time, like ovulation. And the women who did it every day, 38% got pregnant. The women who did it every other day, 33% got pregnant. And the women who did it uh, only once, it was like 28 or something. So it seemed like every day was the way to go. I know they say every other day to let sperm replenish, but since he has like 120 million in that um, semen analysis, so he has 120 million, and then the next day after the next day, he may have 120 million. But the next day, he may have 50 million. So I'm okay with that. It just doubles our chances or whatever. So I also, um, on one of the days, I used um, the Instead cups, and I'm never going to use them again. And I'll tell you why. Um, maybe for a menstrual cycle, they're fine. For trying to conceive, I feel like they did the opposite of what I wanted them to do. Um, you want it so that it can hold everything up there and so you don't have like leakage or whatever. Um, I feel like I had more because when you take it out, which was like eight hours later I took it out, it was all still in there. So it, I feel like most of it didn't even go where it was supposed to go because it's like a crinkly little bag and it all got stuck in there and ugh, I didn't like it. So I'm not using those again and I just gonna make sure to prop up my hips and you know do the best that I can. I mean I can't make it so that none comes out because I think that that's just how it is. I just don't want all of it to and I think with his great semen analysis and everything, I'm, I shouldn't be so worried about that. I think that um, enough of it will go. Plenty of people get pregnant all the time with, um, who knows, with no semen analysis, just accidentally, you know. So, it's fine. <laughs> and, um, so there's that. We've been using Preseed. I love it. It is so natural feeling. It's not sticky like KY Jelly or Astro Glide or any of those things. It's also, it's a little expensive, but I actually like the applicator. I mean, it's a little creepy, and um, but I, I just really like it. I, I think that it feels super natural, and um, I'm bypassing that whole maybe I have hostile cervical mucus thing with Clomids, so since I've got Preseed, I'm not even, I'm not even that concerned about it, so I'm, I'm super, I'm super happy with the way everything this cycle turned out. Even if I don't get pregnant, I mean, I'll be a little bummed, don't get me wrong, I'll be a little bummed, but I am at least getting on the right track. He says, you know, he said this to me today, even if you don't get pregnant this cycle, at least you're getting your body moving forward. You're not just stuck where you were. He says, it, it, once you get the ball rolling, things seem to roll a lot much easier. He said, so don't even worry about it um, if you don't get pregnant this cycle. But everything looks good. And just make sure to take the HCG shots when you need to. And um, I go in for a blood pregnancy test at the end of that. Um, I don't even think they scheduled me another appointment. I must, I need to call back and get another date for it, but I think it'll be like after the two week wait, which is dreaded, but since I've already ovulated, which I felt for sure, I felt definitely, I still am feeling um, stuff going on in my right ovary, but I definitely yesterday, I had cramps and I knew, I knew for sure that I was ovulating because I had cramps all day and we still had sex yesterday, so um, hopefully I don't get my period when that comes around um hopefully it doesn't come around um but if i do i'm okay with trying another cycle i know now that 50 milligrams of clomid works for me and that if i do 50 again it will probably do the same thing and um he said 50 is my good a good number for me since it worked for me i'm not 
resistant to Clomid or anything like that, which is really good because a lot of women are. So, ah, <sighs> uh, yeah. I am glad that I have good news to report back to you guys with. And I am so excited for the day that I get to start making pregnancy vlogs. I am so excited. Um, anyway, yeah. Uh, I guess that's all I really have to say about this. Um, yeah, that's really... Sorry. <laughs> Um, I, I'm just so happy. I couldn't be any happier with the way things have turned out. And I, he was like, you know, don't worry so much about intercourse like last time I was there, but I knew I needed to, uh, I knew I should, you know, have sex because I knew I probably would ovulate on my own, which is awesome. I was hoping I wouldn't have to get the trigger shot today. Um, and I'm so glad because I know we covered our bases because if I ovulated yesterday, which was Sunday, I know we did it Saturday. And I know that we did it on Thursday. And if they say to do it every other day, we did it on Thursday, so we had those guys. And if sperm can live for up to five days, so we've got Thursdays, and we've got Saturdays, and we've got Sundays, and we've got todays. So if I'm still, if it's still like waiting in there for sperm, I'm, we're going to get some in there today. And <laughs> sorry guys, I know it's too much information, but... I don't even care. I am just so happy. So, yes, we got that going on. I don't know when I give myself this shot. I think we've got some paperwork here. Let me tell you what it says. Oh, God. Yes. Oh, it does say. Um, the 27th of this month, I give myself the shot. Wait. Oh, yeah. The 30th and the 3rd. So I do a shot on every single one of those times. And then on the 13th, I go in for a blood pregnancy test if I didn't start my period. So, yeah. The HCG shots, for anyone who cares, are $100 for three shots. Which sucks ass. Especially since this cycle, I've already spent $175 plus $75 plus $75 plus $75 plus $100. Plus Plus the nine dollars for the clomid. So I've spent one seventy five. That's two seventy five. Plus that is three is three fifty, right? Seventy five plus seventy five, three fifty, um, four twenty five. I guess four twenty five or five hundred dollars this cycle. Holy shit! Five hundred dollars. I didn't even think about that. It's going to be like 500 bucks a month until I get pregnant. My God. Well, it'll be less than that. Because the first appointment I had... One, two, three. It'll be less than that. It'll be more like 350 or something. But that's okay. It's worth it. Oh my God, I'm already at 13 minutes. I'm sorry. I've just been rambling this whole video. But yes. I hope all of you guys get your BFPs. I hope I get mine. I hope I get pregnant soon. That would be ugh, amazing. I'd be so friggin' stoked. Oh, so happy. So, I love you all. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. I know I have a bunch of new subscribers. Thank you. And, oh, congratulations to Deathcap for Journey for becoming a YouTube partner. That's awesome. I would love to become a YouTube partner one day. Um, I know you're like, eh, I don't really know, but I think that it'll be awesome because you're like, I guess people like watching my videos and I love watching your videos because you are such a good personality and you're hilarious and your baby's adorable and your story is awesome and yeah, your family is cute and you uh, have a really good personality. So anyway, I'm running out of time. I love you all. Thank you for watching and I hope I have some good news for you on the 13th. Um, I will do a video of stabbing myself in the butt with an HCG shot. Yeah. So I'll be updating you guys a lot soon, letting you know how it goes. All right. Love you. Talk to you all soon. Bye.